An earlobe repair or reduction involves treating either large earlobes or earlobes that have been torn by earrings or both. So essentially how an earlobe repair or reduction is performed is a wedge of tissue is removed and the earlobe is sewn back together to create the desired size and shape. So where the wedge is positioned depends on what the earlobes look like beforehand and what the patient's goals are. But in general, it involves removing the split portion of the earlobe and sewing it back together and sometimes removing some of that extra earlobe tissue and sewing it together to reduce the overall size of the earlobe. This is generally done under numbing medicine and there are sutures that we remove one week later. So in other words, we would mark the area based on your goals and how things look beforehand. Um, after it's marked, I then numb things up with lidocaine the excess tissue or tissue that we want to remove is then removed and everything is sewn back together with multiple different sutures. The internal sutures will dissolve. The external sutures we will cut out in five to seven days. Now, if you want to have your ear pierced at the same time, we can absolutely do that. However, you need to find a stainless steel earring that you're willing to wear for two months and drop it off at our office beforehand. We will sterilize those earrings and I will put them in place when I pierce your ears, which is oftentimes at the same time that I do the earlobe repair. Um, I will repair the earlobe and or reduce the earlobe and then make a piercing while you're still numb and place these sterilized stainless steel earrings in place. And then you just need to leave those earrings in place for two months. That way the tract or the new piercing has time to heal. To learn more, check out our website where you can upload your photos and concerns as a virtual consult. You can also check out our price estimator to get pricing information for all the various procedures we offer. And finally, if you'd like to have your questions answered on a future podcast or Q&A video session like this, please leave a message on our SpeakPipe. You can go to our blog page and our SpeakPipe is located there. Thanks for listening.